And we roll on Chem 110B, sample final number 7. Okay, a 4.69 liter container is filled with an unknown gas at 63 degrees Celsius and 0 0.593 atmospheres. The mass of this gas in the container is 17.07 grams. What is the molar mass of the gas? They give you R. Okay, it's a gas. PV equals NRT. They want to know the molar mass. What are the units of molar mass? That's off the periodic table, right? It's grams per mole. Well, can you see that we already know what the grams are? And we can find N. So if we can find N from PV equals NRT, plug it in there, we're done with this problem. Well look, they give us the volume, they give us the temperature, they give us the pressure, volume, temperature, and pressure. We know what R is, we can solve for N. Piece of cake. N is equal to PV over RT. The pressure is 0 0.593 atmospheres. The volume is 4.69 liters. Don't forget, every time you do an ideal gas law problem, you have to use liters, atmospheres, per mole, per kelvin. You have to use the ideal gas law units. That's why when we have 63 degrees C, we have to add 273 to it to get 6 Three, three, three thirty six for the temperature. All right? Got to be in Kelvin. If you're not in Kelvin, you're not going to get it right, and you're not going to get sig figs right either. So, atmospheres cancel, liters cancel, K cancels. We're left with moles. How many moles is that? 0 0.101. You know what? Just so that we don't run into rounding errors. I know that this is 3 sig figs. This is 3. This is 4. And this is 3. So we're going to have 3 sig figs here. But let's just make sure that we're careful with our um, sig figs anyway. 0.593 times 4.69 divided by 0 0.08206 divided by 336. So that 0.10086 Okay. That's moles and that's N. So the grams per mole is equal to 17.07 grams for sig figs divided by 0 0.10086 to 3 sig figs moles nothing cancels you know why anything to cancel into 3 sig figs final answer grams per mole is 169. Okay. Now, if you want more practice on this, we're looking at quiz 12. And we're also looking at chapter 13, exercise 13E. And there might be a density problem. There might be something else. Be ready to go on exercise 13E, any of those, and you should be good. At least one of them is going to be on problem number 7. All right. Good luck.